Um, the only reason why I'm, I'm not going to give you a problem over something that we haven't discussed at all. All right. If you guys can remember, we bring over exactly the same formulas, Megan, as today for this. All right. So again, what we're trying to prove is JL parallel to MP. Now, if you guys remember, in our the first set of notes we said is if you have a triangle and a parallel line, then we have proportionality, right? And what we stated was that JM over MK is proportional to LP over LK. Do you guys remember that? We had something, it obviously it was a different triangle, but that's what we were talking about. The ratio of one side to another is proportional to the other when you have parallel lines of a triangle. Does everybody remember that? It was the first, it was the first thing we went over today. Yeah. So you have a ratio of your side lengths. This is proportional to this, which is equal to that, which is equal to that. It's the first thing we went over today. So let's go and look at the information we have. They say JK is 15. JM is 5. LK is 13, and PK is 9. So unfortunately, we know what JM is. That's 5. But do we know what the length of MK is? No. But can we figure it out? Yeah. Obviously, guys, if the whole length is 15, this is 5, then you guys can say, oh, well, that's easy. That's 10. So now I can say 5 is to 10 which is equal to LP. We don't know what LP is, but we know that LK is 13. That's 9. So then this has to be 4. So 5 is a 10 as 4 is to 9. Are those ratios equal? Caleb, are they equal? Are they? OK. So to prove that they're equal, what I'd like you to do is apply the cross product. Okay, so when you apply the cross product, you have 45 equal to 40. Are they equal? No, no right? So don't want to just quickly jump and yell out an answer. Make sure you check out the cross product and verify what you're doing. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm happy that you, know, you weren't um, 